welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tower Readings. For those of you who are new, I do tarot videos on my channel daily. Um, and if you would like to request a video topic, you definitely can in the comments below. And yeah, for my same subscribers, hi guys, love you so much. Thank you for all the support you've given me. Um, and for today's question, it was going to be, how successful will you be in this career? Um, and for this reading, I did three different piles, starting from the far left. This is pile one, pile two, and pile three. Choose the pile that you are drawn to, as that is your pile. If you really enjoy this reading and if it resonates, um, you can go ahead on over to the link on your screen now and book a more personal reading. It's very easy. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it helps bring you clarity as well for your future. Okay, love you guys so much. The first pile. So, is the career that you chose the right one for you? Is it the right path? Um, obviously, already you can kind of see the indecision card. It definitely stands out. <laughs> so with that being said, there is some kind of indecision that you're going through, obviously, when it comes to this. And it has you at some kind of crossroads. With the organizer, you are someone who... <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> someone who strives for perfection. You are someone who is, again, just, I feel with the organizer, this is someone who is a leader. You balance practicality very well when it comes to work. You're a hard worker. I especially see that with the three of air, hair, by the way, hair, uh, that is my dreams of Gaia Tarot, but the Three of Air talks about being able to work well with others, being able to lead others. So again, I see a lot of practicality here, and I see you as being really receptive and really open to others. I see you as being a learner, being someone who absorbs information. Sorry, somebody came in. <laughs> well, not somebody, my fiance. <laughs> I'm like, somebody came in. Um, so, back to whether this career path is right for you. Well, again, we already see that you're very practical. Um, you're a hard worker. That's very apparent. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way very powerful because this makes a lot of sense when it also comes to indecision because this problem and obviously this is more of a problem um can lead to your indecision so let's see comparisons also you compare yourself comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal which is never the case between me and you the universe um, basically saying, um, there's no need to compare yourself to others to, again, I feel it's more of like a keep persevering kind of message. And again, it's saying, it's also letting you know that everyone's different and some so obviously from your perspective someone might be more successful than you um and again maybe your confidence is kind of low in that area so let's see what other cards we get so we can look more into this wow okay So we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Magician. Yes, um, this definitely is 
the right path for you. Um, I feel you're going to celebrate a lot with this career. Also, you're going to have a good family life with the Four of Wands. Um, and again, it's just also um, being happy with um, what you've chosen. Six of Cups, again, I feel... It, there's just going to be that like harmonious sense. Um, I feel you're someone also who is a powerful manifester. And with the Six of Cups by the side, this tells me it's due to the amount of um, amount of wisdom, I guess you could say, that you've accumulated over the years that also with the six of cups next to the magician so powerful manifester um you can do what it is you want you're someone who strives for perfection someone who's going to reach for perfection because as long as you're working on it that's all that matters that's all you need to do is head in the right direction especially when you know it's the one for you don't ever compare yourself to others please um we definitely all are not the same and we all have different struggles and we're all going through different things and you don't know what it took like you know that person to get there so never forget that you know and we all have our own story so that's what's cool all right so definitely guys keep persevering this is the one for you um keep gaining knowledge about this and yeah that's all i got for you that's that was a really good reading so if you enjoyed this, please give a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Wow. Guys, so this is those of you who chose Pile 2. Um, I was already astounded when I looked at these cards <laughs> and I seen, um, sorry, I saw how we have the Sage and then we have the Sage, but what's crazy is that it's two different decks. That's what's crazy about it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> So anyways, back to the reading. Will, okay, so I already get you definitely will be successful. You guys have a lot of wisdom. You guys are definitely like, you know how they talk about old souls? Like you are the definition of an old soul. Like, I kid you not, pile two. You guys are so strong as well. Um, this is going to be something that will guide you to the success um that you are seeking and again with the sage it talks about it talks about someone who is spiritual obviously as well um wealthy again so <laughs> You, I feel to others you could also appear as wealthy, maybe because you're very gracious, intuitive, devoted, truth-seeking, emotionally intelligent, um, philosophical, and charitable. Very, very strong energy. I can't believe we have the same card twice. I was like, dude, no coincidence whatsoever. So, if they once loved you, they still do. Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. You change your universe. Beautiful. Um, so what I get with this is that maybe what has really shaped... Oh, my baby. She's so cute. That's my Lilo. Um, your experiences that you've had with love have shaped who you are today. And I feel maybe it also has a big influence or a huge impact on your career in some way. So very interesting. I actually really love that. Um, let's see what we have with the tarot cards. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Hermit. Oh, <laughs> no. no way. We have three old soul cards. Damn. Okay. Yeah, this, guys, yeah, this is the path for you. This is, you will be very successful with what it is um, 
with your path with I feel you're definitely using this wisdom to your advantage um I feel it is something that will make you emotionally satisfied in the long run because you will have more than enough and you know when you give to the universe the universe always gives back and ace of wands again this is the start of a passion that will lead to much greater things just remember to use that intuition of yours and um that wisdom that you have attained because again you're very strong and you will get where you need to be when it comes to this path um doesn't surprise me because everyone on my channel is very intuitive so yeah okay that was pile two i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please give a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Hello. pile three what's good you guys so i'm not surprised all of these piles so far um were incredibly positive and it's because all of you guys, um, again, it's more of a soul family thing and you, I feel, the majority of you are definitely destined to be successful. I don't doubt that. Um, so with that being said, we'll get into the reading. We have attachment here. This sticks out, obviously. Now, we do have a heart-shaped crystal right here. So we have attachment some okay so the reason why you might feel as though there's a setback to your career path or um you feel stagnant or stuck this has to do with some kind of attachment this could be to a person this could be to past experiences maybe uh repeating that so obviously having attachment to past experiences are not going to help shape your future so that's probably why However, nothing to be ashamed about or worried about because you, I feel, will definitely come out of this. And I feel with the attachment for some of you, this may have shaped how you or what uh, direction you went with your career. So maybe if you left someone, you went with a different direction or maybe the heartache it caused or, you know, if you were even attached to some kind of job or some kind of thinking of like which path you should take. Either way, you're an artist. Um, you are meant to take the artist route. You are someone who inspires and you are inspired as well. So you could be very artistic. You could be a painter, a dancer. Um, you're the muse, ruled by Venus. Um, you are emotional, you are sensitive, you are divinely connected, you are passionate. And then I love this card as well. This um, I love seeing this card. It's very great energy. This is the Eight of Water. So this is my dreams of Gaia Tarot. And just very, so obviously what you can tell right away is that this card has a lot of happiness. That's what comes with it. Um, obviously with water, it's again um, an emotional card. But I feel you use your emotions to your advantage. And you can, um, I feel... You can play this out by doing um, things with your career to your advantage because you're very artistic. And again, this is going to help uh, further you with your success. So we'll look at this card. You were born with that it quality. Do you, do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? persistence do you want to know what's really sexy please i know about sexy not needing to be needed and if they still and if still they don't notice your good looks your strength and your sachet could you feel more sorry for them talio <laughs> universe <laughs> this actually relates so much to this oh my god i kid you not guys this this place we call Earth is magical. You guys don't believe me? <laughs> Whatever. Life's crazy. All right. So <laughs> that's a whole another topic. But yeah. So with the confidence, you're persistent. You know. I feel you know. You're sexy, or you at least like. I feel you have some level of confidence that does push you. I feel like you do. I just feel like it needs to be pushed a little more because you need to realize your worth. Um, and that that also again 
uh, correlates with the attachment card. So let's see these. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Why are there two Ten of Cups in this deck? I'm very confused by this. There's a Ten of Cups in, I think, Pile 2. Yeah. What? All right. Well, I guess it's meant to be. Um, it's not the same card, though. That's what's even creepier. I guess there's meant to be two different Ten of Cups. Anyway, they're both very beautiful. That's probably why. Probably the maybe the um, artist was like, ah, I'm just going to keep both of these. <laughs> All right. So, yes, you will definitely be successful. This doesn't surprise me. The Three of Pentacles, you guys are hardworking regardless. I feel you're, you persevere regardless. I feel you are the type of person who can lead a team as well. Page of Pentacles, you gotta give it time. Um, you will be very successful. You will have a happy home life. You will have what it is that you strive, or sorry, that you strive for. And again, Page of Pentacles, it talks about many opportunities coming to you. Um, and again, it's because I feel you just work well. And again, with the Three of Pentacles, I feel for some reason, I feel like it's also about teaching others your skill as well. So maybe you also would teach others uh, this career path, like um, educate others. But yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, um, for sure, there's opportunity within this field for you. It's definitely coming. And yeah guys it's just it's all very positive vibes i love it so that was pile three i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please give a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys